um, Vernon Davis, Sean Murray, man, I mean, a lot of guys just, you know, being from here and just doing big time things. And I want to be like a, a role model to kids and show that, you know, you can do you can do what you want to do in your backyard. You can win national championships in your backyard. You can win big time championships in your backyard. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely understand that. You know, to me, it's just it's not about me coming in, you know, being that guy, being that man. You know, ever since I was a kid, I was used to playing against you know players just as good as me or got the same ability as me. So, you know, I never want to come in or I never want people to think that you know I'm coming in thinking that you know I want to be that guy. You know, I just want to make plays and you know help my team win football games. You know, that's one of the big reasons why I came here. What are some of the things you did uh, last year during your retro year to become a better football player even though you were playing? And what did you really take from uh, the, the running backs ahead of you? Uh, like um, I took a lot because, you know, them guys, you know, were experienced, you know. So, um, you know, last year, like I said, I kind of took the sit and sit back, you know, even though I wasn't playing, you know, I was coming out here, I practiced just my head off, you know, just into the little thing, just being coaching, you know, doing anything that I had a problem with, you know, always ask time, always ask Jake, and I always ask Lowe, and every time I did, you know, he always had questions for me. So, that's basically all I did last year, and I kind of, you know, Sophomore year, you know, I kind of had a lot of success, you know, going to, you know, single back, you know, uh, formation, just switching up, you know, out of offense. So, you know, I feel like I fit well. I mean, it's still early, so I don't know, you know, what they're going to do or how they're going to do. Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. The way, the way Coach Kennedy uses his running backs as receivers, is that, and, and, and even maybe even lining you up as a slot receiver, does that fit into what you did in high school, what you think you can really Yeah, that definitely uh, fit you know, what I did in high school. Even when I was young, you know, I always wanted to be known as just, you know, just being a versatile back, you know, guy with versatility. Playing a little bit in the running back and then going out into the slot and doing some things. So, you know, when um, Matt Kennedy came and kind of showed us, you know, how we want to use our backs, I was kind of a little happy about it. Kind of showing us off and not just you know, trying to play one back, trying to have like three backs in the field at the same time. So, you know, it's a pretty good build. I'm excited about the offense. When did the quickness come back? Um, I would say like in the wintertime. You know, in the wintertime when we were off, just trying to, you know, just treat my body right. You know, when I was hurt, um, that was like a depressing time for me. So all I was doing was just, you know, lifting and just, just eating bad things, putting the bad things in my body. So I had to you know, mature and get better and, you know, understand that, you know, this game is going to end short for me if I don't treat my body right. So I started to treat my body right, um, come down. I felt my twitches and everything come back to home. So, how, much, you know. how, much, how much weight did you gain? Um, coming in. Coming in the room. Well, you said you start putting bad things in your body. Oh, I, I gained a lot. I gained like 15 pounds. So like coming in, so I was like pretty heavy. And I, people say I could still move a little bit, but I, I felt like I was a little bit slow. So you know, I gained a lot of weight, and then um, I just was working hard on losing it. So. Well, freshman 15. Yeah, freshman 15. Where are you at weight wise now? Um, I'm 195, 195, back to my regular weight, you know, what I'm used to playing that, feel comfortable playing that, so. Anthony, when you take the field that first game, you got to what's going to be going through your mind, Anthony? Oh, man, it's going to be pretty emotional for me. Um, even in the spring game, you know, just just putting pads on, getting ready for the game, actually, you know, hearing my number 45, you, know, you got this right, you got the next right, you know, just hearing that, you know, it's, it's going to feel good again, you know, playing in front of my family and friends, you know, from here, so every time I step on the field in the game, even my first game, it's going to be the last one. This year, I, I know that it's, it's coming. It's kind of like a, a humble experience. You know, I know, you know where I came from and where I've been. So, you know, it's going to be pretty special to me. You know, my family and some of my team. Is it easier to buy into the whole group mentality when you have guys like Kai and Lolo ahead of you and the way they have just accepted their first team? Yeah, um, definitely because, you know, for me, I want to I want to be around, you know, good players. You know, I don't, I don't want to be the guy, you know, just – just to being the only one, you know, doing things or just making plays. I wanted to be around just good players. So, you know, at first, when I first came in, I had to get adjusted. I had to get a lot of good backs. You know, 
a lot of good backs playing, but I had to understand, like, this is how we want to win ball games. This is how, you know, Maryland's going to, you know, come to the top, you know, like we used to be, just putting guys in there, you know, low, to high, you know, me, Javon Lee, Tayon Freeman, Jake Funk, like, every guy just need, you know, is it, is it, How to be selfish, whoever's in the game, we cheer them on, you know, you know, we cheer them on just like we're in the game, or, you know, we're happy for them. So we're definitely learning how to do that. And I feel like as we keep learning to do that and learn how to not be selfish, because there's a lot of guys in the game. Like, so you need, it's going to be sometimes, you know, when people feel that, you know, they feel like they should be in the game or they deserve to be in the game. But we're learning together and trying to, you know, learn, you know, that we can win games just just using us on the field. I feel like if we all contribute and make plays, I feel like nobody can stop us. We're the best running back in the big time. What was it about Maryland that made you initially decide to come here? And, uh, was there, did you have a relationship with Coach Durkin and anything like that? I definitely had a, a good relationship with Coach Durkin um, and Azar, and uh, you know I was up here. Everybody knows I was up here like all the time. Like after school, you know when I was injured, you know, I, would, I would just be boy, and I was I'm gonna go up with Merlin and chill with Azar, Durkin, and some of the team. So as I kept doing that, I would go back home and just think about the recruitment, and I would realize like you know I feel comfortable here, like. This is my family. I come to the practice every day. It's just not like I'm going to visit somewhere, somewhere like Miami or Alabama, just going somewhere and just, you know, popping up on them one time. And then they didn't know I'm coming, so you know, they got to prep me and stuff like that. I just popped up here every time. I didn't, sometimes I didn't even call, you know, Coach Dirk and call us and say, hey, I'm coming. I just come up here and come to practice. And, you know, they, they, they were still the same. They were close to the same. You know, they, they would just do everything the same. So, you know, that's kind of the big reason why I wanted to stay home. And another reason why is because, you know, I'm from here. I always had a dream of going to watch Stephon Diggs, um, Vernon Davis, Sean Merriman. I mean, a lot of guys just, you know, being from here and just doing big time things. And I want to be like a, a role model to kids and show that, you know, you can do you can do what you want to do in your backyard. You can win national championships in your backyard. You can win big time championships in your backyard. You just got to get, you know, everybody from here to stay home just like these other, you know, universities do get these guys staying home. And they come and just, you know,